Sharing photos with family should be fun, not frustrating. Whether it's birthdays, vacations, or that one uncle who insists on making silly faces in every picture, getting those memories to your loved ones should be easy. So today, I'll show you the best ways to share photos without the tech headaches. All right, so first, let's talk about the big players in the game, right? So first off, we have Google Photos. Now, this gives you free 15 gigabytes of cloud storage. It works on both Android and iPhone and basically any computer you can find. You can use smart albums to help you organize things. Face rec recognition, which basically sorts through your photos, puts the different faces into different albums based on what they look like or different uh, categories. And it's super easy to share. It's one of the fastest ones and I'll show you how to use it in just a moment. Let's talk about the other three big players in the game next to Google Photos. That's gonna be Apple's iCloud program. It's another cloud program, perfect for iPhone uh, families, right? So if everybody uses an iPhone or Apple products, Apple iCloud uh, shared albums might be the way to go for you, okay? Now the next one's gonna be Amazon Photos. It has unlimited photo storage if you've got Prime. So if you pay for Amazon Prime, you get unlimited storage inside of Amazon Photos. Plus you have a private family vault for just your family that they can see the photos that you stick in there as opposed to if you're sharing with other individuals, right? And then of course Dropbox and OneDrive. OneDrive is Microsoft's cloud program, great for families already using either of these two programs. If you have Dropbox or OneDrive, you can always just drop your photos into that, okay? Now, as I mentioned earlier, Google Photos is one of the easiest to use. Now, here's how to use it. We're gonna open Google Photos. First, you have to install the app, right? But then you open it, pick your album or photo, tap on that share button, and you'll be able to create a link that you can send via an email, right, or text message. Send it off and boom, you're done. Everyone can see your photos instantly and you can manage access whenever you like. And by anyone, I mean whoever you shared to, right? They can instantly see those photos, access them, download them, and it's like they have them themselves. Now, another nice thing about Google Photos is even if you have large albums, it's still pretty great for that. And you can create album names, make it very clear. One of the tips I always tell people is don't just create untitled or new albums every time. Make sure you give it a nice name, like Family Barbecue 2025, so it's clear as to what's gonna be in that folder, especially when you're sharing with other people so they understand what they're getting, what's in the album, right? And then again, using these cloud platforms for bulk uploads, if, if it's a lot of images, you're not gonna be able to send it via email. You don't have a flash drive, you don't wanna be you know, obviously sending flash drives or taking flash drives to people. That's what these cloud platforms are for, uploading large bulk uploads, big, 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 big uploads of images you can do uh, pretty large sizes. I always do even these video files into the cloud if I need to. It can hold them, okay? So don't worry about that. All right, so that's it. Whether you're team Google, Apple, Amazon, or Dropbox, I know some people have a preference to one or the other. There's a photo sharing platform that'll work for you and your family, right? Digital albums are today's photo books and sharing those memories shouldn't be stressful. It should be simple and fun. To help with setting things up, that's what we do here at My Computer Works. So reach out if you want an extra hand. And hey, don't forget to like and subscribe this video before you go and share this video with anybody in your family who takes way too many pictures. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you on the next one.